Welcome back to the channel everybody in the Super Mega Baseball 3 franchise series. It's episode 2 and hopefully this game goes a little bit better for us. I know we did end up with the victory in the first episode but I did not play all that well. We are going to see another new pitcher today. I thought this was Lindsley's turn in the rotation. I may have him pitch anyway because I just want to play with him on this team. Today we take on the 1-0 freeze, Nico Wallace on the mound, low velocity, low junk, should be a pitcher that I can, you know, hopefully time up a little bit better, his accuracy is also pretty good, we'll see how this goes. The freeze won their very first game, let's take a look at their stats. So in their first game they had a couple doubles in there, no home runs, so I'm guessing it was a lower scoring game. Starter Kira Shepard, 0 ERA, that was a 7.2 inning outing with 14 strikeouts, okay. So they won a pretty solid game there on opening day, and now we're looking to move to 2-0 and get off to a good start here with the Sharks. William Lindsley will be on the mound today. He has solid accuracy, decent velocity. Not a ton of junk, so probably not going to throw too many sliders and fork balls. But let's get into it. Game 2. Big Sky Ballpark. Here we are. Sharks and the Freeze getting underway. I know we have one player whose mojo is already going down, and that's Sylvester Seymour, who had a two-run single for us on opening day. So that was a long game. I doubt too many episodes will be that long but uh a lot of intro and then a lot of extra innings we'll see how this one goes Demario Waddle a single through the middle we get underway how about Neil Hope he had a few RBI opportunities back in that very first game high pitch is his uh wait a minute pitch are they were able to steal uh oh I don't really know much about the pickoffs in this game like can you lead off more is there a threat of being picked off? They're trying again! Alright, behind that one here. The high pitches for some reason I think have always given me that issue. And strike three to Neil Hope. That clocked in at 93. So even lower velocity pitchers, that more so seems to be like they're not going to reach the high 90s, but pretty much everybody can have... Uh, some decent velo. Ty Gonzalez now. 600 average after opening day and now pops up. Yeah, going upstairs to make contact. I always end up popping up or missing. But let's see here if we can fix Sylvester Seymour's mojo because this can uh, easily wreck a player's season and put them into a major slump. And oh, drilled him! And Seymour's gonna reach. Is the pitcher okay? I think so. Nico Wallace. Fitness is still high, but now his mojo is rattled. Okay. Two on, two down. Casey Daniels at the plate. Fouled that one off. Now two strikes on Casey. And that's going to make it into left field. Waddle around third. He'll test. Going home. He's safe. And it's 1-0 Sharks. Three base hits here in the first inning. Not the best contact, but I'll take the results. Two strikes quickly on Ollie Sparks. That one misses inside at 78 miles per hour. Got a piece of it in the right field, and the bases will be loaded. Four hits in the first. All right, big chance for Omar Serrano. Bases loaded. What can we make happen? Drilled it into center on a line, and it's out number three. And it might have been one of the best hit balls of the entire inning for us. 
So we get one, and here is William Lindsley here making his baseball debut after a wonderful football career. Long career as a backup, very profitable career. And that is drilled pretty well into the deepest part of the park, and that's going to be down. Extra bases here out the gate for the freeze. Stand up double. Tyson Spears. Power, contacts, not much speed. All right, hoping to get uh, something on the ground here. And that is certainly not on the ground. Deep to center. Waddle got it. They're testing three on the tag, and they'll get there. All right, RBI opportunity here. Raina Malone, low pitch and power versus righties. So we're not throwing down here. Somehow got to keep her from getting this RBI. Uh-oh, not a great pitch. And that is going to go a long way. Waddle looks up and it's gone. Two-run shot and the Freeze take the first inning lead. By the way, what is up with the Freeze uniforms right here? They seem to, like, be changing as that one's drilled to right, and it's into the second row for a home run. Wow. Yeah, like, these uniforms keep changing color. I, I, I like it. Maybe it's some new uniform technology. If that's a bug, I'm not even sure I want it fixed. There's the second out, but the freeze doing damage early on. 3-1. Could be a higher scoring game. We watched just a 4-3 big extra inning affair last episode. As Shannon Zelver to end the inning, finally. All right, I guess we have a little work to do here on the offensive side. Oh, way ahead of it. 76. Working the count two and two. And just a piece of that one. Inside. Working it full. And that's driven to right field. And Shannon is going to reach. That's a base hit. The contact swings are certainly working a bit better. I think I have to work on my power a little bit. Here's Hudson Lumen. Ah, oh, that's not going to work. Into foul territory. Out number one. All right, let's try to drive one here with Demario Waddle. One on, one down. And into right field. Lazy fly out. Neil Hope's turn. Just got to hit one square with his power. And that is not hit very hard at all. Inning over. All right, now if Lindsley's going to have a, a decent outing, he's got to put some zeros on the board. Good start there. Hit to center again. Waddle having a very busy start as this is gone. Just over the fence. And that's three home runs already allowed by William Lindsley. Wow, hammered that one into the corner, but foul. All right, Whiffer, this is good. Contact's now extremely low. Want to keep it in the zone. And, oh, it's off of Seymour. Do we have a shot? No, we don't. Now, that is the right. Kellen Ashley got the Number game underway seven. for the freeze with a double. And now with a runner aboard, strike one. And called a high strike. Let's go out of the zone here with the change up. Thought about it. We'll try it again. Not working. Right back to him. Oh! I can't get the double play. All right, let's put a zero on the board here. It'd be a solid uh, recovery inning. And there's the grounder to Daniels. Ooh, close play. All right, we're down three. I've really got to get the offense going here. 
Four one freeze. Ooh, that's hit pretty well. Gonzalez off the wall, and he will stay at first. I hit triangle earlier. I guess I wasn't selecting him or something. There's a runner aboard now. Sylvester Seymour's up. Just a bit late on that one. And Seymour up the middle. That is another hit. Casey Daniels now with two on. Nobody down. Ooh, that's a slow roller. And they'll get Daniels. That's it. So two in scoring position. Ollie Sparks has a chance now. We know in his football career, he knew how to put points on the board. And that is going to continue here. It is... A run and a hit. Nice. All right, 4-2. A bit more action here in this one. Serrano now. Into right. This is going to be close, and it's down. No, let's not test it. Oh, that was close. Base is loaded now. For Brady Shannon. How about now for his first RBI? Shannon into right. We're going to have to tag. Ooh. Ashley's arm is decent. We're testing it. And it wasn't a good idea. We have nine hits, though, in three innings. So I'm hoping we continue to get chances. Two quick strikes here for William Lindsley. And Raina Malone keeps the at-bat going. On the ground, and Hope will make the easy play. Really good stats here for Silas Perez. Let's try to keep these on the outside. No strikeouts yet, I don't think, for Lindsley. Sometimes it's hard to get strikeouts in this game on higher egos, even with pretty good pitchers. And that's hit pretty well. Ooh, going to be a tough one here. And Hope can't scoop it up. That was a bad throw by me. All right, Thomas Cole now. One on, one down. Not a good pitch, but it's a perfect outcome. Ooh, wait a minute. We got nobody. That's not how it's supposed to happen. Juliet Chambers, it's into right field. And another run is going to score for the freeze. Going to second now, and the throw is not in time. Oh boy, this could be a bad inning for Lindsley. High contact here for Monica Owen. Not a good situation for us. And that's hit well. Shannon should be able to make the play. Well, that's an easy tag. Six to two. Barrett Bautista hit a solo home run earlier. Just keep it four runs. Keep it manageable. At this point, I'm not even sure how long Lindsley can stay in this game. Trying to get out of this inning. Trying to mix up locations as well. And that is into shallow center. Tough play for Waddle. And he can't make it. 7-2. Probably not going to see a whole lot more of William Lindsley in this one. It's just hard to even get his accuracy right. Inning finally over, but the damage is done. Lumen starts the inning, and that was a pretty fun out. We had no home runs on opening day. We're probably going to need some if we're going to make this comeback. Oh, that's a shattered bat for Waddle. And out number two. number two. Wow, not much of an inning here for us. Easy three up, three down. I'll try to get Lindsley to go through this inning. I know we used every reliever in the opener. And they're probably all feeling a bit of uh, fatigue from that. 
and it's the bottom of the order here so if i can get through four maybe then we'll make the move let's see how the stamina is actually the fitness is fine i guess they're pretty much all recovered except for oh valdez would have to pitch later on okay i think we'll be all right then after this inning or the next hit driven to serrano number two Not doing a good job of hitting the zone consistently. That's a better pitch. But can I do it again? Change up low to Sparks past him into center. That's on the ground. A weird hop into center. That was totally headed to Sparks. And now Waddle's throw. Nope at third. Oh, man. Yeah, we're going with a new pitcher here. That's 10 hits allowed by Lindsley. So let's go to Harry Fitzpatrick Jr. I'm guessing because he's a hybrid starting pitcher slash reliever, he'll have better uh, stamina. Okay, his stamina isn't full, but it's 85-90%, I'd say. Uh-oh. Another run's going to come around, and Waddle can't cut this off. It might be two more. Huge day for the Freeze. They have their ninth run. Finally, inning ends. But the Freeze are dominating here. They've scored in every single inning. We can't say the same. Ty Gonzalez. Hey, that's hit pretty well. And it's going to be a single. That's into center. I'm not really making uh, like the best. Like I'm getting some good contact, but it's like, it's still kind of weird. Either it's hit right at somebody or I hit it, I, I think pretty squarely and it just kind of, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Just kind of an awkward uh, hit. That's hit well though, Casey Daniels. Let's put points on the board here. That is an RBI double, 9-3. Let's keep it a game here. Ollie Sparks now. Oh, I think that was really close to being a three-run shot. Do I test this still? Chambers has a really good arm, no. Omar Serrano with two in scoring position. That is in the left field, it should get down and we will Maybe get a run, we do. Okay. Five run game now. We can still make this interesting. That's a double play. All right. But hey, we're hitting the ball a lot better. Now we gotta start putting zeros on the board if we're to have a shot. Like, I think we can get to 10 runs, but can we get to 16 if they continue scoring? I don't think so. There we go, another one pitch grounder, two down. A lot more accurate too with Fitzpatrick. And I should focus a bit on uh, the slider and curve a bit more. Beautiful pitch. Let's try to get the strikeout here, haven't had any yet. That's not a strikeout, but it will do just fine. Three up, three down for the first time. All right, new pitcher coming in, and I know they have a good bullpen, so it's going to be tough to keep putting up runs. This is Doug Goldberg with really high junk. So I think if we get any fastballs, we got to jump on them. Not a good at-bat there for Hudson Lumen. There goes the bat. To Mario Waddle. On the inside for strike one. That is into center for a base hit. Not many extra base hits, but I'll take this over last episode's hitting. Neil Hope hasn't done too much yet this season. We're of course trying to change that. Ooh, way too late. Two and two. Runner goes, and that's fouled off. 
And that's a drive from Hope. It's hit pretty well, but it's on the warning track cut by Chambers. Ty Gonzalez, 625 average. Could really use something in the gap here. Oh no, that was the pitch I've been waiting on. And then I swing at that one. All right, no runs here. Got three innings to fix this. Fitzpatrick will continue. Hopefully we can get maybe one or two more innings from him. Wow, back to back on the corners. Then we go upstairs on the ground. That's a tough pitch to put on the ground, and it's a double play. So Fitzpatrick, he's gotten all these outs. I'm not sure how many this outing has been, but he has only thrown 13 pitches. And that's 14 to get, like, I think seven outs. All right, Seymour. He has good power against lefties. And we don't really see it demonstrated there. I gotta be way more selective on my first pitches. Like, I'll go after some of these on the corners, but then when it's down the middle, for some reason, I just don't see it that well. There's a base hit, though. Two zero count to start. Oh, man. Got way too excited for that pitch. How is that a strike? And then I go after that one because some of these just seem way too close. That was probably a ball, though. Not as close as the previous pitch. Serrano. Come on, get to the seats. Get to the seats. It's down. One more shot here. And we pull it into left field. Serrano off the wall. It's a base hit. Could not get further. It's happened a lot already in this two-episode not-even series. Shannon on the ground. That's a easy play. All right. Fitzpatrick will just keep him in. So far, so good. Oh, oh, oh why'd I say anything? 10-4. Freeze continue to pile on the runs. Oh, that's hit pretty well now. What's happening here? It's 11 to 4. Plenty of long balls for the freeze. We're still waiting on our first of the season. Tanner Parker into the game. We make the move. And we'll try to finish this game with a little uh a little bit of dignity somehow. Maybe if we're uh, struggling here, it's a chance for me to work on uh, like my power pitch timing. Not the worst time to experiment. Definitely better. I think that's going to be the key to getting strikeouts here on a uh, higher ego. I don't think I have a single one today, but that's an out. I'm not sure if it makes the pitch any faster. It may. That's at 97. Let's throw a regular fastball now. Of course he hits it. I have no idea how fast that was. But the inning is over. We have six outs to get seven runs. Like I said, we got to start getting some homers. That's on the ground. And another routine play. Top of our order. If it's going to happen, it starts now. And Waddle lines out to Spears at first. Neil Hope, he's tense. Oh, wow. Wow, I'm getting some contact, but I'm just not getting under the ball, I guess. We got lucky on that. It's a base hit, two down. If we get a home run here, that would be awesome. I don't think that's going far enough. Gonzalez flies out. Bottom eight. We'll keep Parker. Actually, no. We're going to go to the bullpen again. And Elijah Cruz. Not bad. 
Alright, so a lot more offense in this game, but for some reason, just can't get my uh, best swings to do the most damage. Can't get uh, home runs or extra base hits very frequently yet. I know from playing Super Mega Baseball in the past, though, like, this game can get pretty streaky when you're in the zone. When you're feeling it and uh, you just can't miss, you can go home run after home run. But on the same note, if you're struggling, it feels like it's almost impossible to get out of the slump. But I know we're getting hits. It's just I want better hits. But it'll take some time, and for sure, this team isn't perfect. Like, I didn't rate them to be an amazing team right away. I wanted it to be somewhat of a rebuild, of course. Tough at bat here, trying to end it. And that won't do. Base hit to center, and the 12th run will score for the freeze. That's the Sparks, and that's two down. Thomas Cole, a five hitter, 375 on the year, a home run, three RBIs. And this breaking ball here, you can clip the zone if you're perfect with it. That's past Sparks. Oh, and past Shannon as well. I took a bad angle, so there are two more runs coming around, but this game's pretty much done anyway. Oh, wild pitch and late to cover. Okay. 15 runs for the freeze. They're not even finished. Yep, can't find the zone here. I know his mojo is not in a good spot. Oh, wow, stamina's in a bad place, too. I got to finish this with Valdez. We're going through the bullpen once more. And hoping it's only 15 to 4. Alright, a couple looking. Trying to get the strikeout, and we finally do! Froze him! Alright, 15 to 4! Time to rally! Latoya Harding into the game at second base. Alright, just a little uh, comeback here is all we need. How fitting would it be to just have a throwaway home run here at the end for our first of the entire series? Yep, not feeling it right now. Got a lot of hits in this game. Obviously, we allow 15 runs. The issue is going to be pitching. Ah, Daniels. Almost a contact swing hit off the wall. Ollie Sparks. Come on, get our first homer. Oh no, I just missed it. Ball game. Freeze win 15 to 4. Tough one here for the Sharks. And uh, their reliever, I think they only used two pitchers. Yeah, Goldberg came in four innings, four runs allowed. The game changed dramatically as we were not able to even try to keep up. We allowed five home runs in this one, too. Well, there's our first loss of the series, and we'll see if anyone can really uh, get off to a strong start here. I'm not sure if anyone's going to play their third game yet, but right now, still a, a fair amount of teams without a victory, five left, and four unbeaten teams. Prowl, easy win over the Warhawks, 4-0, they're 0-2, kind of surprised by that. And now an extra innings. Wow, that would have been a fun one to see. Narwhals against the Chompers. How about a 3-0 start for them? Toucans and B-Wolves. And the B-Wolves get the win. Razors without a victory. They change that. And now the Warhawks. Again struggling. They fall to 0-3. So we have two teams to yet win a game. Two teams that are undefeated, including the Freeze, who have the plus 14 run differential. Wonder how they worked on that. So it looks like next time, we're going to take on the Toucans. And I know this is a two-game set. 
So far this year, Demario Waddle has a 333 average. Ty Gonzalez is 5 for 10. The top of our order is doing a pretty good job, but I think with Neil Hope, he has that high pitch. And so I'm trying to go after high pitches, and I'm just not getting very good contact on them. Serrano's hitting 400. I mean, overall, I'm not too worried about the offense. We got a bunch of hits, four runs in each game, but I got to get the pitching uh, a lot better with uh, some of the lower rated pitchers. And I thought Lindsley had uh, decent ratings, but I really couldn't find a comfort zone with him. But now we've played a couple games. I think it'd be fun to take a look at the transaction opportunities. I don't think anything has happened here because... Well, let me have all these toggled on anyway. There we go. Now you see a whole lot more information. It shows us when new uh, player development opportunities become available. Shows us uh, game results. But uh, not a whole lot here in the early season uh, action. But hey, if I wanted to sign somebody, where could we use a boost? Wow, there's a really good catcher here. Petrie Raul. 99 contact, 72 power, but a $28 million salary. We couldn't make that fit. So it's kind of interesting. You're not going to see many uh, moves probably until later in the year. Now, if you wanted to also look at maybe young players that would be uh, potential development players. Nobody younger than 23 right now. I kind of like the stats here for Callan Guerra, but at 10.9 million, that's really tough. But is it possible? It would work if we cut enter text to sign Guerra, but I mean, I don't think you'd be getting much of a boost there in terms of ratings. You would power wise, but I think you have similar players that, you know, you'd be paying 10.9 million to for Guerra. And I want this cap space, you know, for the future. So I don't think I want to make that move now or really any move. I'm probably going to be kind of hesitant to make too many in the very beginning here. Well, that's about going to do it here for the second episode of Super Mega Baseball 3 Franchise. I hope you all enjoyed it despite a really tough game for our team. Four home runs for Silas Perez. That leads the league right now. Devin Gates is hitting 615. Here are other league leaders across the board. Four extra base hits for four different players. How about pitching? Two wins already for Colton Chapman. A lot of pitchers still have not allowed a run. Be sure to leave your feedback down below in the comment section and please leave a like if you enjoyed the episode. I'll be back with more Super Mega Baseball 3 soon. Have a great day, everybody.